Yeah, so I, I sort of by accident, I was going into my final year of high school, uh, my grade 12 year, and uh, I needed uh, an extra arts credit in order to graduate. So I, there were a few different options, um, art, there's art history, um, textiles, a bunch of things, and acting 12 was one of them. So I just sort of took it on a whim and uh, I loved it. I had a great time. Um, I was just, it was this whole new thing to me and uh, a whole new way to express myself. Um, I'd always been a musician and it was cool to find a different, you know, sort of outlet. Um, and then I, you know, I was telling my parents about it and. My mom was telling, I guess, just chatting to uh, one of her coworkers, and her coworker was like, "Well, you know, if Grayson's serious about this, my sister's an acting agent in Vancouver." And at the time, I lived, I grew up on a small island called Salt Spring. Off, uh, it's about a three-hour ferry ride from Vancouver. And, uh, and I was like, "Yeah, no, I'm serious. I'd love to go meet her." And so I took a seaplane, which is 20 minutes instead of three hours. And uh, I came into the city and met with Kathy, who's my agent to this day, and we've just been just picking away at it for the last yeah, 13, 14 years. And she's she's amazing, and uh, and we sort of worked at it together. And yeah, I think it's starting to pay off. But uh, yeah, it's been just such a fun ride. And you know, I think a lot of Canadian actors are so fortunate that you can build up a lot of experience and your resume can really grow in Canada where it doesn't necessarily in the States. It's really hard to get any role in the States, but as a Canadian actor, um, you can really build a resume and experience up here. And then, you know, when you're ready to go down and tap into the bigger market, you've gained the experience, you know, like I got my resumes for my credit list is at 40 plus now. And it's funny, you go down and to, uh, to casting in, in LA and they're like, why don't I know about you? Cause so like there are tons of very famous actors who have half that, right. But you get the right one and you just, you're gone. But, um, so I've just been picking away at it and it bitten's definitely the sort of thrust me to the next level, but you know, you can definitely be a Canadian actor and fly under the radar and just make a decent living and enjoy what you do. Um, that being said, I, I have my hopes set higher, but, but, um, yeah, it's uh, not a bad place to be.